everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I have for you another weekly grocery haul from Aldi but today I used Instacart and wanted to show you my process for ordering with them. I used Instacart on days I honestly just don't feel like walking around a grocery store. I will have a coupon code for you and I will put it up on the screen and down below in my description box. You will get $10 off your first order through Instacart. So the first thing I do is create my meal plan from my tried and true recipes and meals to some new meal ideas that I get when I scroll through Pinterest. I save them and if I we make them and like them, I save them. If we don't like them, I delete them. Then I create my grocery list from all the recipes all the while making sure to check my fridge and pantry to see if I need to purchase any items or if I have enough already. then go on to Instacart, choose my store I want to shop from, and then add all my items into my cart. It is super simple. I also save my list so whenever I get the items I cross check to make sure I received all items that I ordered. You will have a personal shopper assigned to your haul. They will shop for you and you can chat with them via the website while they are in store shopping for you. They will offer replacements of the items that you, that you wanted but it was not in stock. Or if you don't want a replacement, they will refund you. And once the shopping is complete, it will show them driving to your house via the map that is on the website and they will bring your groceries right to, to your doorstep. I am honestly in love and with this convenient service. I use it quite often, probably twice or more a month. So my order got delivered. Here it is. This is from Aldi. This is just shy of $100. It's about double what I normally get, but there were certain things that I was out of. So it cost me a little bit more this week for groceries. And here is my list. And on Instacart, you can tell when um, the shopper is shopping for you and what items that they could not substitute or replace or if there's stuff that are out of stock. So they did not have um, the tortillas that I wanted, the, uh, like the soft shell tortillas and the seltzer water that I wanted. So when I do my list, I write down everything. I circle or highlight the ones that they could not um, fulfill. And then I'm going to go through the list, make sure I got everything and then I will come back and go through each item with you. Okay, so they got everything on the list other than the two items that they could not substitute. The only thing is they got the wrong salami. I usually don't get this deli sliced. I got the turkey in this package last week and I was not impressed at all. So I'm not sure how the salami is going to taste, but we will find out. So let's just start over here and I'll start with my haul. I got a head of iceberg lettuce. I am going to be making a few salads this week, probably for lunches. So I got a head of that. So I got a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. I'm going to have those this week for myself and meal prep some for my daughter. I bought a pound of bacon. I like this, they didn't have the sugar free. So I got this instead. They haven't had the sugar free in a while. Um, I need this for a meal prep. I'm going to be making, I made stuffed peppers on my channel a couple of weeks ago, my mother's style of um, stuffed peppers, but I am going to be making a newer version of stuffed peppers. So make sure to stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe so you know when I upload um, all my videos. Again, about the salami, I got a, I guess it's a pound of that. Some of this never any chicken breast, or no, chicken breakfast sausage. This is really good. So I bought some of this for breakfast this week. I bought these uncured beef hot dogs. I like these. I just usually um, take a couple out for the week and then freeze the rest 
So I will have those. Some of these chicken breasts, thinly sliced chicken breasts for a recipe this week. Two mangoes, two avocados, some green peppers for the stuffed green peppers, some limes, cilantro. I always get cilantro. I always put it in my salads and everything else. I love, love cilantro. And I bought one of these sweet kale chopped salad kits. I enjoy these from time to time. I bought a stock of celery and some carrots. I bought some pita bread. I've been enjoying um, pita pizzas for lunch. So I just bought some more of that. I bought some mini uh, yellow potatoes. These baby Dutch potatoes. I like these because they, these skins are not so tough and you don't have to peel them when you cook them. Yeah, or you mash them. You don't have to peel them. I love, love these. And they're very like buttery too, even without putting butter in them. Some hot sauce. I was running out of that. Running out of my soy sauce. Totally ran out of my olive oil. So I bought some more of that. And I just bought another spray just to have on hand because I'm sure I'm going to run out of that soon. A carton of chicken broth, some hot dog buns for the hot dogs, my favorite um, hummus that Aldi has, the significantly spicy. Love this. These have been my new obsession, these gluten-free sweet chili brown rice crisps. They're so good, especially with the hummus. Delicious. I bought two bags of these tortilla chips, um, but two bags because I'm going to be making and meal prepping um, something for my daughter, and I just bought her a bag, so she had them. Um, some light sour cream, some mozzarella. I like to shred my own whenever I can, so I bought a block of that. Some diced tomatoes with green chilies and some and two diced tomatoes in the can again for a recipe, some pizza sauce, some salsa, and I needed another pasta sauce just to have on hand. I ran out of baking powder and I used baking soda to clean and to cook with. So I needed some more baking soda. Totally out of my coffee, should have gotten two. Don't know what I was thinking, but this salted caramel is delicious. And so is this mint chocolate chip cookie ice cream. It is so good, so good. So I got some of that and a dozen of eggs. I haven't had eggs in a very, very long time. So I thought I would, at least to eat eggs. I mean, I've cooked with eggs, but not to eat them for breakfast or whatever. So, but a dozen of those. Oh, and some toilet paper. So that is my grocery haul for this week. And... So I'm back. I have a few more items. I ended up going to Aldi with my daughter to get some stuff for her. And I just wanted to throw this in into my haul because this is part of my weekly um, grocery haul. So I saw that they had, they had this last year, the salted caramel cream cheese spread by Happy Farms. So I bought a container of that. And like I said, I should have bought two of these. So I ended up buying a second one. These jalapenos were a great deal. I think they were 79 cents for this whole bag. So I bought those. I needed more pure maple syrup. So I bought some of that. And then um, these were one of the items that they couldn't fulfill in my order this morning. So I picked some up. But there you go. Just that is all. I will talk to you in my next one, everyone. Bye-bye.